What's up, little Honda bros? Uh, time to chat about product. I haven't done this yet, uh, largely because all the other giveaways have made tons of money. I didn't spend 140 grand on those other giveaways, and so I'm in the hole. And so I need all you uh, non little Honda bros, all you rich dudes, to buy some stuff and just punt it in the trash. If you want me to give away a GT3 RS someday, you gotta, we got to buy more stuff. So I'm going to show you uh, show you what all these different things are. And in all seriousness, we've got some pretty cool stuff that regardless, you know, I'm not, you know, in fact, I told everybody in my life always don't play the lottery, don't gamble, it's a waste of time. But in this case, I'm asking you to gamble and play the lottery. No, I'm asking you to buy some cool stuff that you might have otherwise have wanted anyway, and then you get a chance to win this ridiculous Civic that I built. That um, I think we um, I think we have about 60 grand in profit to go to get to break even. So I haven't made a video like this yet because I haven't had to, but I'm going to make a video like this today because I'm, uh, you know, I'm a glutton for punishment and I want to uh, do another giveaway someday. So let's start over here on the right, and I'm going to work my way around and talk to you about all the, the concept here of all the different things that we're selling. And, uh, and the innocent byproduct of this video, maybe you'll learn something today. Maybe I'll learn something. So microfiber. I uh, recently just, I just changed and just changed the package to what I'm calling 3.0. All I really do is I work through the, the um, rag company catalog. I love their microfiber towels. And then I buy every one they make, and now they just send them to me. And then I figure out which towels I like and for what purpose. Uh, and so the starter kit, this is a sampler pack. So it's uh, one of each towel. So then you can use it and see if I'm one if I'm nuts. Uh, or if I know what I'm talking about. And then secondly, it's a good starter to get into to see if uh, which towels you like, uh, and uh, if you like them all, like I do, then you would just buy the whole, you know, the whole 3.0 package. So, sampler kit is one. Another, which I am super pumped about. So this is um, this is the uh, Matt Mormon Signature Edition CSL XO. Now, the only difference, other than a really freaking cool box with my signature on it, is that uh, the CSL. Does the CSL have a stopper in this, Kyle? Jeff? Yeah, so they put a stopper on CSL, like a, a dropper, not a stopper, a dropper. I hate the fact that the regular CSL doesn't have a dropper, so I want them to put a dropper on the bottle. But check out how freaking cool this is. So they're numbered and signed by yours truly in ink. I didn't really sign them, but I did. I, that is my signature. But I think this is freaking sick. Who knows? Someday when I'm rich and famous, maybe this will be worth something, but um, probably not. But I think it's freaking cool. So we have a, a coating package where uh, these new pearl weave towels from, uh, from the rag company are freaking sweet. Um, these are a, I think these are 70-30 blend, um, but it's a, a departure from, I was using their 240, their really cheap towel for coating removal, and it I was waiting for them to come out with a pearl weave that didn't have an edge. You know, I don't like edges when I'm removing a coating, and I like really thin towels. Um, I think these are 300 GSM, um, but this uh, these towels are freaking awesome. So there's a package that comes with, how many did we put in there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll probably use six or seven, maybe eight of them, depending on the size of your car. Um, Bryce and Mike put together a package of 10 because if you're doing an SUV or something like that, you probably need, you need more towels for the EXO removal than you do the CSL. And then I found myself using eraser and panel wipe, depending on how aggressive I want to get, you know, get the car clean. I find that that eraser I spray all over the panel and wipe it down, almost use it like a waterless wash on uh, when I'm removing the you know, polish you know polish residue or polish oils uh, but then I'll spritz you know panel wipe on a small section if I have a more aggressive area I use it a lot on glass and things like that in preparation for coating setup but um, these seem redundant but I'm telling you this is considerably stronger um, this is more all-purpose uh, and so we put together a little coating starter pack here I guess this is a full coating package with the OG edition that uh, Eric from G Technic made for me. The bottles are, you know, I have an obsessed garage G Technic co branded label. This is my foray into the start of uh, what I would like to have, which would be 
co-branded products instead of um, instead of um, you know, private label products. I'm not looking to hoard things. I mainly just want to have the ability to put great products in a similar bottle or similar packaging. And so we're slowly working toward that. Uh, our Obsessed Garage banners, two, two banner types. So there's the vinyl banners. And we've worked really hard with, um, with our supplier. Bryce has worked really hard to, a lot of times when they print on vinyl, it's uh, the dot pitch is really fuzzy. Uh, and so if you look closely at a, a lot of banners, um, you end up with uh, not very sharp lines. You end up with like jagged lines. Um, this is our third or fourth iteration. Uh, and so we have something that uh, looks the, you know, looks the part, looks obsessed level, pretty heavy duty vinyl. So I'm not a banner guy, but the media guys, the young guys tell me that I need to stop being such a dumb old man and I needed to get some stuff for the people want. I thought my job was to tell people what they want, but apparently some people want banners and so we have them. And then we also have fabric banners. To, what, what colors do we have this in? Blue and black in both. And then they created this Hot Boy Civic banner, which I think, have people been buying that darn thing? What? Who would buy that? <laughs> anyway, we have this, how much is that banner? It better be cheap. Is it like 50 bucks or something? So apparently you, you little Honda bros like this. Um, I need the rich guys to buy a bunch of stuff. I need them to buy like thousands of dollars of stuff. So anyway, this banner is 35 bucks. That's cheap. I wouldn't buy that. If you gave it to me, I'd punt it straight in the trash. But apparently people want it. So we got that banner too, which is cool. Get out of here, Bryce, with your hot boy items. This is my speed here. I'm telling you. GSF. This, this soap. First of all, it smells freaking amazing. But you need this in your life. Oh, yeah. It's, is it not good? Is it not like the best smelling stuff ever? I think Adams is great smelling, but this stuff, this stuff is awesome. Shut up, Bryce. Not that. We don't need that. We don't sell that. We don't sell that. Don't sniff this because you'll pass out. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, don't even open that. Only open that if you have proper ventilation. But um, uh, um, Koch Kemi KCX starter pack. So it comes with a single most amazing. Um, this is one of the first OG collaborations thanks to, I don't remember who the original guy was in the original Facebook group when it, re when it first started. You know, really, um, you know, I talked about it and then he made it happen, going to Corey and uh, the guys at Microfiber Madness and had a larger Increta pad made because they had that little sponge, it was terrible. And I don't like um, mitts. Uh, and so we've had this pad for you know, three or four years now. It's just freaking awesome. So you get one of these, you get some, um, why do we have interior towels in here? Anyway, you get some towels to try out. What is it? Why do we have, huh? Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, this, so anyway, we have some multi-purpose towels and some interior towels that these guys came up with. They didn't consult me on this package. I was told not stupid. But we have uh, Freshen Up as well. Uh, and so these are the three, you know, starter Coach Kemi products that I've started with that I really like. Ulex for removing adhesive and killing brain cells. Um, FU for Freshen Up for when you dump cheeseburger grease on your freaking floor mats in your car, you spritz some of this on there and it'll get rid of that funk scent. It smells a lot like Dawn, or not Dawn, um, Tide, like a laundry detergent. It's pretty good. I have absolutely no use for this because I don't, I don't get weird, cheesy crap in my car, let stuff melt in the carpets, but apparently a lot of you do, so you need this. And then GSF. Did I mention GSF? You need GSF in your life. It's freaking great for your foam can and everything like that. So that's the KCX package. Uh, rinseless wash kit or something they just added back to something we had um, in the uh, several giveaways in the past. Uh, but you get some waterless wash towels, which are the pluffles, some of uh, what I call the drying aid towel or the bead maker towels. You get a bottle of bead maker, a bottle of uh, optimum no rinse and then a logoed rinseless bucket. We found a lot of people, tons of people bought this because they already have like a bucket package. So this becomes like your little travel set that you take with you when you're traveling, throw in some glass cleaner in there and you're, you're ready to go on a, on a trip. 
uh, if you're um, you know taking a road trip or heading to cars and coffee or something like that. So our uh, six gallon bucket is a grit guard in there, grit guard in there, gamma seal. These obsessed garage only buckets are freaking awesome. You got to buy on like minimum five, I found, so you can't get them anywhere anyway. But six gallon is the way to go. A uh, starter washing kit, uh, GSF. Did I talk about GSF yet? You want you want some GSF? You might as well just forget the starter kit. Just buy GSF. Buy the five gallon or the five liter. It's freaking awesome. Remember, it's five when it's sold. It's sold in five liters, um, so it's like it seems like it's more expensive. Five liters is what one point two. Yeah, one point something in change. Shut up, Kyle. Um, gallons. Uh, so it's more than it's more than one gallon. Uh, we this comes with Brake Buster, which is my favorite uh, wheel cleaner. I don't. This stuff is so cheap. Stop worrying about diluting it. Just use it like this. That Dave Phillips made it the way it's supposed to be. Everybody's so excited about diluting it. Isn't this like eight dollars or something insanely inexpensive? It's so cheap. Yeah, it's like less than eight bucks for this. It's like twelve bucks for a thirty-two ounce. It's like twenty bucks a gallon. So stop being cheap and just freaking buy it and use it straight. Use it straight in the foam can. Use it straight out of the bottle. It's great. It's a heavy alkaline cleaner, so it has a pH of you know ten or something like that. Great for wheels. I found that um, because I'm using you know encoding all of my wheels, I found that less necessary to do the purple stuff. The stuff that turns purple. Uh, and so this happens to be purple, but it doesn't turn purple. It doesn't have sodium thiglocolate in it to break down iron. If I ever found that I had iron buildup on my wheels, I would just grab some iron remover and use that. Some bead maker, a bucket. Oh, shoot. What the flip? The easy detail brush, tough shine brush. Who came up with these packages? This is... Anyway, you get a starter washing kit. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. And then these things are sick. The, uh, these are um, uh, our large drying towel, which is something you, you want to have in your arsenal. Uh, but this is, when I say ours, I mean the rag company that I'm reselling. Um, but um, this, these things are freaking awesome. They're, uh, it's a double sewn, super heavy, um, bulk type drying towel. Um, I use these primarily when I don't have access to a leaf blower or some sort of some sort of drying device. Starter wheel and tire package, OG tire dressing. You'll see in a second here we're getting really close to getting rid of um, generic bottles. Um, but this was our temporary label that we made. It was still pretty nice. Still pretty nice label, Mike. And um, uh, but OG tire dressing. Uh, made by uh, B and B Blending and uh, in partnership with um, uh, with Scott, who um, who helped us, you know, who came up with the formula or found the formula at B and B, and then we put our name on it so we could sell it. I'm telling you, this stuff is legit. You get a tough shine brush. This thing. It's one of my favorite things that I brought. This is like one of the original thoughts or ideas for Obsessed Garage, other than the Krenzel pressure washer, was to get the original um, Griot's Garage lambskin mitt that they stopped making. And so the Griot's Garage lambskin mitt, they stopped making and I was sad. I had like maybe a half a dozen left. And, uh, and so I had to go out and find something that was a replacement, the Lake Country version they made for a little while. Really didn't, didn't do as well, but this is from uh, Flexi Pads in Europe. And uh, we import these. And uh, so this is in the package. These little cuties, these little guys are perfect. You need one to do all four. What's going on there? You need one for all four. Somebody's already copied our, our, our wheel thing? I'll, I'll tell you about it later. Okay. Um, you need one to do wheels. Whatever. You know what I'm saying. Easy detail brush, tough shine brush in the, in the wheel starter package. Starter foam kit, uh, SGS 28. Notice I haven't taken on the Aqualine. Um, the, which is an SG35 from MTM. I like it. It has all stainless T316 internals. Remember, T316 stainless is um, uh, uh, salt water um, and corrosion, uh, I guess, impervious, if you will. Let's call it resistant. Well, we're not washing with salt water. We're washing with water. 
And so this is T3 or 4 stainless. So T316 really doesn't have any value in car washing. It has value in marine environments, has uh, value in some environments, I guess, where they're cleaning with salt. I don't know what that would be. Um, but the SG28 gun is smaller, lighter, the trigger is better, it's more ergonomic, uh, and so this SG28, I think, is the way to go. It's a lot less expensive as well. If you're going to spend the extra money, um, I would get a Mosmatic gun. Uh, and so, you know, the, the, that hideous looking baby blue, um, I wanted to make it blue blue when they were making it, but um, my good friends at MTM <laughs> yell at me for making this video, but I'm telling you, the SG, SGS-28 is the best value, sort of mid-tier gun on the market. I think it's the way to go. Uh, and so I don't think you want Aqualine. And so this includes the new you know, PF-22 foam cannon. And then you have your choice in the drop-down, depending on what, uh, like if you have a Ryobi or Greenworks, you want a, uh, the, the 14 millimeter opening. So that's the internal dimension here. If you have like a Sun Joe or an AR or something like that, uh, you need the 15 millimeter. So in the drop down, you can select it. Uh, but this is everything you would need to hook your pressure washer up to a phone cannon in a quick disconnect fashion using all MTM fittings or all, all T3 or 4 stainless fittings. And then the new PF22.2 bottle, which stands upright even when empty. So. Um, it shouldn't be a selling point, but it is a selling point in comparison to the old one. Uh, drying aid starter kit, uh, give you a chance to try out the uh, IK bottles and sprayer. The sprayer's garbage. The bottle's pretty cool. Um, um, they're not as good as Pressols, but um, a lot of people do like these. They hold more, more product. It's a little bigger. Has, um, has a card on the back where you can write in your logo. Very easy to get something printed for the front of this. Um, I just want to be a part of the development of these bottles, just in, you know, in case they become you know, the standard. But right now, I, th I think Pressol is still the best bottle. I know it's the best, the best bottle on the market, but something, something to consider uh, is this the starter drying aid kit. Has a couple of the um, 15 by 25 inch um, drying aid towel. So this is the towel I'm using the most when uh, applying a drying aid. So that's a bead maker drying aid package. Um, lighting package. We had a lighting package in the garage giveaway. The concept is on, on future giveaways we'll do other, other lighting packages or other lighting uh, small lighting packages so you can kind of build your, your arsenal of scan grip lights. But this thing, this um, the Line Light R is like my favorite thing on the planet. I actually ran over one of mine like at an angle on the lift and it barely even made a dimple to it. Uh, but the quality of light on these is super legit and uh, the batteries are okay, um, but it is rechargeable and just, just super awesome. They have a three year warranty on, which is pretty, pretty sweet. And then includes the yeah, little mini match. This is the light I use the most when paint correcting. Um, so this I'm using the most when like working on a car and a engine bay or something like that or under you know, on a suspension where I need some light. And this is the light I use most uh, when, uh, when paint correcting. PNS starter bundle, PNS interior, PNS brake buster we already talked about, bead maker we've talked about a lot, um, and a myriad of towels that we already talked about. Uh, the, only dif the only difference here is uh, interior cleaner is, um, you know, I, I first when I first got this and I took a whiff of it, um, I punted it in the trash. I thought it smelled terrible, but it grows on you. Some people don't like the smell of it. And, you know, the smell of interior cleaner is the mo you know, was much more important than any other smelling, uh, smelling product, I think, when you're, when you're dealing in detailing. But this leaves such a great matte finish. You know, I think it rivals uh, Nexet cockpit uh, without some, you know, really horrible stank that I've had a lot of inconsistency with Nexet in the past. Uh, but this is extremely consistent, works every time. Uh, the smell, I think, will grow on you, and it dissipates in a few minutes anyway. But I, I love the PNS Interior Cleaner. A starter interior uh, package color lock edition. So for cleaning leather, gives you the um, the color lock brush. Add them to our OG ones. We run out of them or something? Yeah. So anyway, they say color lock. Sometimes they say obsessed garage on there really doesn't matter because you're just using it to clean the leather. But um, this brush is, you want like seven of these things. I love this brush. I use it for all kinds of stuff. Cleaning plastics, cleaning 
calipers, obviously cleaning leather, Alcantara, all that stuff. And so um, some glass towels, my favorite glass cleaner, invisible glass, and um, a couple of foam blocks for application of your leather shield. Uh, and then, of course, you have, you have mild, mild leather cleaner for cleaning the leather and an interior cleaner we just talked about. Now the tchotchkes, which I railed against. These guys put one of these on my freaking mirror, and I threw it in the, in, the, in the driveway out of here. They tried to sneak one in on me, and I like threw it out the window, and it was sitting in the parking lot. But we have, what is this thing called? I don't even know what these are. Uh, an air freshener? Hang taggy, douche douche tag. People freaking love this thing of my Civic. Don't buy this. How many we've sold thousands of these things? What is wrong with you people? Why are you buying this junk? I hope you're buying it just to get an entry into the win the Civic, but freaking idiots. This is cool. Don't wash my car, hang tag. Hang this tag. We've been wanting these for a long time, so we got that douche lanyard in case you want to be real douchey so you hang this from your from your mirror and you got this swinging from your 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 key holder thingy in your car or you got it hanging out your pocket but apparently people like this junk and then this giant key tag here which i would never use either this is my mom's key apparently she likes it i was wondering whose honda key what this was with this weird it's protector cover anyway so you got some tchotchkes and then you got the shirt, little Honda Bros shirt. It's freaking sweet. So this is cool, kind of cool. It didn't say little Honda Bros on it, but you you want one of these. Oh, I have a strong request from Anthony Durant Company. We need a black one. Can we can we whip up a special edition black with white lettering real quick? A black with white. It's gonna look like in photo negative. Yeah, that's cool. That's what he wants. Okay. Um, yeah. Do do that. No, we need it now. And do we have any more of these? These sold out immediately? So we might have another limited run. Maybe. Yeah. Like another hundred. Depends on what the port's thinking. Yeah. So this is our foray into the future of, I think, the most amazing thing in the world, which would be to have amazing bottles with amazing products and then have matching labels so everything now they won't have my douche signature on it this is our signature edition test test starter and we don't have the back label so if you did get this already we don't have the back why don't we have a back label for bead maker yet uh, we just haven't well we have to have that eventually so we get sued if someone drinks it and dies and cut that part out um, but the, uh, yeah, the goal long term is to have press all bottles lying across the cabinet with a matching, you know, and we'll make it with, with and without OG logo. And we're going to have all different iterations of this, but, um, you can't buy this right now. You're watching this video, but keep an eye out. We might have another hundred. We sold it out in a few F5 seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. F5. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't do that for the giveaway. I want to get just straight monies on those labels. No, we can just straight money them through the giveaway. There's going to be 16,000 of them. When are they coming? So you order them? Like tomorrow. In what color? Uh, blue. Yes. Got the blue ones. I'm ready. I'm ready to have all my matching labels. 16,000 labels. Well, we're going to need more than 16,000 eventually. That's it. If you don't buy stuff... My kids are not going to be able to go to college because I spent it all on this car. Bryce is never going to get a raise <laughs> if you don't buy some stuff. I will never have any more, I have any more money because I spent it all on headlights and, and, and just swoopy doo mucan seats. Yeah, yeah. So all you rich dudes that don't want anything to do with this car, just think. It's to be a solid investment. You get some good stuff that you wanted anyway, and then you can get this car and just... I'll buy it back from you and then do another giveaway. No, no, no. no, no. I'll, I'll find a buyer for you if, um, if you want me to. No, I'm not doing that. You take the car and sell it. So you can make some money on it. The car's pretty sick, though. We're starting to palletize everything. Oh, and we got the Civic thing. The Civic, this thing is pretty cool. I don't know what you'd do with it, but I'll even sign it for you if you want. I don't know what you'd do with that either, but apparently people like that kind of stuff. So, since I've insulted everyone, 
Little Honda Bros, just being real with you. I need to make another, how much, 60 or 70 grand in profit, so we need to sell another couple hundred grand worth of stuff. We got two and a half weeks. Help me from going broke. That's, I mean, that's literally like three years of Ryan's college that's, that I'm going to lose on this car if you guys don't buy some stuff. And, uh, yeah, if I make a lot of money, I'll, I'll you, know, you just think I get to buy another Porsche or something. Don't you want that? Don't you want to see that? No, I'll buy another Porsche and do a giveaway if we can raise the money to keep doing these projects. So, anyway, thanks for being a part. And um, these guys are going to hurry up and put this stuff away. And uh, I'm going to go to continue to organize stuff. But thanks for watching. A uh, Civic flyby video coming. By the way, I need you to go make a flyby video tomorrow. It's a Civic flyby video, um, which I think you're going to want to hear that, you know, VTech yo kicking in. See you soon. Stay tuned for Less Broke. Buy some stuff. See you soon.